think we're going to have to go down, guys. Let's give it a try, shall we? Oh, interesting. This is the one time we're not going into a fantasy. So perhaps the fantasy is merging. Yeah, merging with reality. As much of reality as this is. It's not going to let us go through there, so the only way is up. And no, I'm not going to sing it. I don't think it's supposed to be horror. I believe, I, I, if anything, it's going to be mystery. Uh, we have here. Yep, yeah, this could indeed be, that could indeed be the case. It certainly does feel, I mean, it has this uh, sort of buoyant drifting feel, like he is actually floating through the terrain rather than walking on it. I mean, it's entirely possible that that's actually, no, look, we're, we were bouncing across the top and now we're going down towards the bottom. I, yeah, this, this is some sort of fantasy of, some description of whether he's actually on this island or he's dreaming the island or the island is a metaphor leading him to a conclusion it's it's I don't believe it's real in my final dream I sat at peace with Jacobson and watched the moon over the Sandford Junction goats grazed on the hard shoulder the world gone to weed and redemption he showed me his fever scars, and I mine, between each shoulder, the nascency of flight. Yeah, they're definitely mixing up now, aren't they? And... Hmm, I hurt my spine. And they was giving painkillers of the sort that make you question reality, and this didn't happen to me either. Electrical, chemical, yes, it's all it's all blending into one. back to the organic again this is so so stunning let's go this way first I think I know where this leads yes this cannot be the shaft they threw the goats into. It cannot be the landfill where the parts of your life that would not burn ended up. It cannot be the chimney that delivered you to the skies. It cannot be the place where you rained back down again to fertilize the soil and make small flowers in the rocks.
Ah, what do we have here? Behold, Damascus is fallen. Oh wow, look at this. Do you know what? This is, if this was a horror game, this is the point where it would start to get really, really scary. Away from being a city. Hmm. And I shall be a ruinous heap uh, no, you're not even pretense at walking anymore just drifting I think the, the, the narrator's mind is getting darker and darker and darker as we're traveling and more and more confused. See look, we don't even appear to be walking through the water anymore. Waterfall up ahead. Hmm. Well, we're not going up there, so presumably we're going down here. died. Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely a memory, I would say, yes. And we're being lifted up now, so we're coming out of it. Okay guys, that has been an hour, and as promised I'm going to give you guys a choice now. Do you want me to carry on playing this, or should we move on to something else? I've got my, I've got my uh, fun out of this. I wanted to play this for quite a while, so I'm happy to do either.
Well, two for keep playing. And we're somewhere completely different. It's like an old smuggler's cave. I wish I could have known Donnelly in this place. We would have had so much to debate. Did he paint these stones or did I? Who left the pots in the hut by the jetty? Who formed the museum under the sea? Who fell silently to his death into the frozen waters? Who erected this godforsaken aerial in the first place? Did this whole island rise to the surface of my stomach, forcing the gulls to take flight? Yep. We are definitely getting a bit mixed up here, aren't we? That. Mistress Heroine, hello. Welcome to the stream. We are playing Dear Esther. And I think the general consensus is we're enjoying it. I returned home with a pocket full of stolen ash. Half of it fell out of my coat and vanished into the car's upholstery. But the rest I carefully stowed away in a box I kept in a drawer by the side of my bed. It was never intended as a meaningful act, but over the years it became a kind of talisman. I'd sit still, quite still for hours, just holding the diminishing powder in my palm and noting its smoothness. In time, we will all be worn down into granules, washed into the sea and dispersed. Personally, I think Donnelly might actually be uh, a symbolization of the the accident, you know, a part of his psyche which he hates. So yeah, I agree with you. He he hates Donnelly with a passion, but I think Donnelly is also him. He is Donnelly. Donnelly is him. Hmm, I wonder what these are supposed to be. They're not water breaks because there's. I suppose there could possibly be enough flow. Uh, might be to protect that cave there. Let's go into the water and see what we get. Probably going to be the same thing, but let's just give it one more try just to see if things have changed any. No, it's the same thing. Let's go and have a look over here then. It's quite brave of someone, to be totally honest with you, to start a game like this. Because, yeah, it's definitely a path down there. Um, going to a games publisher and saying, you know, this is a game where we're just going to walk in a straight line, you can't do anything, you can't even jump. Uh, you know, we're going to try and tell a story, and that story is not actually going to make much sense. Esther, perhaps? Oh, look what we have there. But yeah, the atmosphere, the the feeling, it's generated. It's all fantastic. And this is all done with the source engine, so this is Yeah. More car crash symbolism. This is all done to the same engine that made Half-Life 2, and they really, really, really got every single inch of quality they could out of the graphics.
Hall, by the roadside, by the exit for Damascus, all ticking and cooled, all feathers and remorse, all of these signals rooted like traffic through the circuit diagrams of our guts, those badly ridden boats torn bottomless in the swells, washing us forever ashore. Yeah, it's definitely getting mixed, isn't it? Flight from heaven shone around I light from heaven shone around him hmm yeah, that's a possibility. They could both have died in the crash. Well, possibly the narrator was very, very badly injured and Esther died. see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded mm -hmm. them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the point. to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. And I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Hmm. That is a very, very good point, Live Audio. How are we doing? Can we get in here? On a sudden, light, uh, on a sudden, a light from heaven shone around him, and he fell to the ground. Can't get any further this way? Don't think we can. going into the water never quite works for us and in I can't really read that well enough Anyway, that is where the uh Oh Hmm, let's follow it down here. Alright. I think we need to head towards that tower, head towards the light. And this is definitely a different path, so let's give it a try. Yeah, I mean, if it was, I, I would love to stop and just try to interpret and read all that and interpret the details, but uh, uh, as always, I'm a little bit worried about boring you guys. So, let's forge on for a little bit and see if we can make a little bit more sense out of this. I think the answer is going to be no. But let's try nonetheless. Yeah, that's a, that's not a bad bad idea at all, to be totally honest. I can see the symbolism there. See what we can get going that way. 
So we're a fair ways around the island from where we started. And I think there's a cave there, isn't there? Um, wondering if that's where we actually came out. Yes, it possibly is, isn't it? Let's head the other way and see where it takes us for a little bit, if it takes us anywhere at all. If not, we'll go back to the hut and see if we can find a way up the cliff. Yes, we are heading back the way we came. Let's just give it a quick check. But I do not think this is the right way to go. It would be the first time. I, I get the feeling that sometimes whenever we had to backtrack, we've got a different drawing a different diagram and you know things I do get the feeling that things do change as we backtrack and hey we have a new path I think no we don't just wanted us to look at this piece of circuitry here okay right let's head back to the hut and see if we can move onwards from there then I think that's going to be the story of this game. It is obviously completely linear, far more than, say, even the Half-Life games were. So we are going to have to accept the fact that we are walking a straight path, we are following a script, and we enjoy the symbolism and try to work out what's going on. And As it's all blurring and getting far more insane, I don't think we are ever going to work out what's going on exactly, but still love the sounds, I love the atmosphere, the music is great. It's well worth watching, I think. And it does have, you're right, it does have a Christmassy feel to it, which uh, I think works quite well. Uh, let's see if we can get up on top of the hill now. While we're talking and while we're in a bit of a a quiet period, I want to talk about what we're going to play next. Uh, because uh, I have a few games in mind and it's up to you guys to decide which you'd like. Um, given the fact that we played Portal yesterday, I'm quite ha I, I was thinking perhaps we could play the original, we could play Half-Life. Or we can do some Minecraft, or we can play The Sims 3. It's totally up to you guys. What would you like to see? 